The Bills owner recently had this, this um conversation. What, what happened, Pink? That he was apparently quoted as saying that black players should go back to Africa. And my personal view on this is he should get the Donald Sterling treatment. Mm. He should get run out of it. He should be forced into selling the team and get the hell out of sports. Um, you're talking about a league where the players, 70% of the players are black. Um, an increasing number, not a great number of coaches are black. Some general managers are. And this is your mentality. Like, mm. you do not belong in the game. And and this is not, to say that, that's not a slip of the tongue. That's not, you know, something that's subject to misinterpretation. Or I was trying to say this, but that, this is like clear and unequivocal. And this guy, if the NFL, and I, and I do not think the NFL has any sack. I think Roger Goodell is a bum. <laughs> I don't think they will do this. But they should absolutely Donald Sterling this guy out of professional football. Yeah, it's definitely it definitely wasn't a slip of the tongue. It's, this is an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is one of them ones. This is like yeah. this the one they had this the one they carry in the in the knapsack. <laughs> like just in case. Just hey, y'all go back there. You know the crazy thing about that is ninety percent of black Americans ain't never been to Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are we going back to? Yeah, so it's like, what, what, I mean, that's yeah. that's the dumbest thing. So, and it's like, I, I can't go back if I've never. Yeah, been. Yeah, I've never. Right. It's you know how expensive it is to get to Africa. I would love to go to Africa. Yeah, I need to learn how to play drums. <laughs> that, take, take a GoFundMe. Maybe come on, maybe, man. The, maybe the Bills owner will got a contribution for you. I need, is, is 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 over is over King uh, publicly traded. I'm trying to get some stock or something. Well, that's ignorance, though. You know what it I mean? Is, it it's, really is. Yeah, it, that's ignorance, and uh, it, it, you gotta you gotta go low to even fathom something like that to come out your mouth. You know that's what I'm insane. Saying? Yeah, but I feel like I mean, you say go low. I, mean, I don't disagree with you, but like to me, like this is what this guy's mindset is. Right. Like you know, you, you can pretend to be this way or that way, and yeah. and you know, in certain settings, acted you know, but if you're going here, it's in your soul to go there. Right. You know, and that that's that's to me, that's why you don't come back from this and you shouldn't stay in in the NFL. You shouldn't have that privilege yeah. right. to do that. And and it's like I, I hate I hate I hate when people like make the comparison of like professional sports to like slavery and it's like a plantation, because I think that's a bit of a stretch and it's kind of like a misnomer. But also it is an old boys club mm-hmm. and it is in a, in a lot of these most of these owners. They come from a different time. Right. They're old money, so they're not first generation. So when they say when they say like these things that are like kind of like regurgitated mm-hmm. racist things, mm-hmm. it's because they didn't own slaves. Maybe their parents didn't own slaves, but their parents did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And so and so it's like an it's an inherent and inherited racism. So when you say this, it's easy to say, hey, yeah, you need to get the Donald Sterling treatment. Donald Sterling Sterling treatment. I mean, of course. It's not really much of a punishment because he's if he sells the bills now, especially when they're actually good. Mm-hmm. What he's gonna sell it for three to six billion? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're gonna walk away with your money. But like you, again, if you know, if you get enough old out and replace it with new, then right. then you can start to shift the culture of this a little bit. And again, you're not taking his money. He'll go put that money in something else and he's going to be yeah. fine. Right. right. But let's just get him the hell out of football for now. Yeah. Right. And maybe get a group that's more diversified and more new money and new, you know, progressive right. thought. Yeah. Do you think they will though? I don't think so at the moment. I yeah. don't think the NFL uh the NFL is a much more regressive organization than mm. the NBA. Right. I think the NBA in the context of professional sports prides itself on being progressive and being a bit front foot on that. Yeah. That's not to say that they're without fault or, or they're always hit the right mark, but, but I just don't see the NFL. I really think if you look at, and I don't give a damn about baseball, but football to basketball, football is way more old money, yeah, old culture, yeah. old thinking. Yeah. And, 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 the, and to answer your question to be simple, no, because the reality is football makes the most money. You don't have to be progressive when you make the most money, mm-hmm. when you when you are the leader. of, of the, and, and so, like, even when they move them out, because I remember when they were having a conversation about, like, uh, like Diddy buying the South Carolina Panthers or somebody like that mm-hmm. or, or, the, yeah. or something like that. And people don't realize that 
the owners have to like vote yeah. on the new owners. Yeah. Right. So yeah. They, it's not like, hey, I got the money. Right. It's not it's not that way. So it's really an old boys club. So it's really like we can we can say no and we don't have to explain why we said no. We can just say no. Mm-hmm. Right. And so he'll just sell it to somebody that he he'll just sell it to some other old money. Right. Unless there's a stipulation in place to say, hey, it has to be somebody who just became a billionaire, right. which is a stipulation that you can't enforce, or, yeah. or, or you yeah. know what I mean. So, but there's there is like, but again, that that's I I mean I think that's where the commissioner's office can stand strong and have some influence, right? And, and not just let it go to let's just get another old dude, right? But but I think the I think the players and the people who the the, pay, the players and the patrons have to make enough fuss. If they don't make enough fuss, which they aren't. We just kind of yeah. we just kind of being like, yeah, that was stupid of him to say, and 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 and, and he just allowed him to walk it back and apologize and say, I don't I don't think like that. Maybe even go to rehab, which is a, another oldie but a goodie. <laughs> so, but it's in, unless they make a fuss, unless the unless the players, because Donald because Ster- Donald Sterling, the players took a strong took position. a strong position. Yeah. yeah, and it was like league wide. Yeah, like yeah. It, it, it it was public. It was league wide. Yeah, it was a uniform front. But that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like if it's if it's like that, why 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 are there no repercussions behind it? You know what I'm saying? The same thing they did with uh, with with um the the uh, the Cowboys owner when he when he Jerry had Jones? The, yeah when he had that photo. You yeah, know they yeah, kind yeah. of just swept it under the rug. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's there's a the, the reality is this is shifting a little bit, but but in, in the NFL player ranks, there's less guaranteed money. Right for for their guys are you know are, are cut and 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 you know marginalized way easier yeah. in that in that realm, and you know in some ways, um, you're still in a situation where a lot of the prominent NFL guys, I mean the Tom Brady just retired, are white quite frankly, mm-hmm. and in the NBA that's that's different, right. You know, that's it, it, and it's also the NBA is a is a players league. It's very right. it's very the players have a lot of power because the the money is in their likeness. Right. Yeah. In the NFL, you you can you see an NFL player out in, in a Walmart and nobody would know. Yeah. Right. And he and he'd be somebody who makes sixty million dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not so true. so they, so which means you you're easily replaceable. You're right. you're you're not the commodity that you think you are. Yeah. Yeah. Very few guys reach that level where 